In other news, the World Health Organization has charged countries to use existing standard guidelines to manage the MPOX outbreak locally. The country emergency preparedness and response officer at the WHO, Dr. Sally Ann Ohene, in an exclusive interview with TV3 said the WHO is actively working on an updated version of the guidelines with focus on strengthening areas of surveillance. We're actually not starting from the scratch because uh, over 2022, 2023, we were reporting cases. So several measures were already um, put in place. So it's more like an activation. It's more like, you know, um, updating some of the things that we already did. So we are collaborating very well with um, the Ministry of Health, Ghana Health Service, and other partners and stakeholders. So when it comes to an, uh, an outbreak like this, there are certain areas that you need to strengthen. So yesterday, um, Sweden reported that they had detected um, an, a case of MPOX. So you know now there's global travel. You just, within a few hours, in another country or a region of the world. So it brings back my point about making sure that you have the capacity for early detection. You know, so that involves having your surveillance laboratory, also public health education, risk communication. So it is possible that other countries will also start reporting. So um, another country may say, I've picked up a case and so on. It is, it is not out of the ordinary. And it, it, it actually speaks to them being prepared you know, so that's what this um, public health emergency declaration is all about. Let's all get prepared. Let's collaborate. Let's support each other. Let's coordinate so that we don't have a disjointed, because when we work together, it's possible to quickly contain and then we save lives. So currently, there are two vaccines that have um, received the green light, you know. So... What WHO is doing is working with countries to accredit the use of the vaccines in, in the country mobilized um, by WHO. But it's important to remember that as countries, we have to take responsibility for our own health. by what partners and other organizations will bring on.